So my name's Angela and today's video will be a first impressions on the Astralis Cream Contour Kit. Um, it has quite a big mirror and these six shades here. Um, so I'm just going to do my foundation and I will be right back. Okay, real talk. Don't you hate when you think a brush is clean? I tested it and it seemed fine and now I've gone to put it on and it's had some dark red through it. <sighs> okay, so um, I've put my makeup on. Um, I haven't set anything with powder, so I'm going to go in with this contour kit. Um, I, I wasn't really sure, because I've never used cream before, whether to put concealer on under my eyes first, but I have anyway, only just a little bit. Um, the yellow in here, I'm not really quite sure. I don't know, does that look too dark? Maybe I might just mix these two. Okay. Uh, okay, first impression, I'm not really entirely sure on how well this is going to blend. It's um, quite thick. Um, oh my gosh. I'm hoping this works out because like, I've got somewhere to go to after this, so. Otherwise, I guess I'll just either look like a clown or just wipe it all off and go barefaced. So I'm just going to go in in the place that I would naturally highlight. Might even do a bit under where I'm going to put the contour. Um, I'm a bit scared to leave it to sit there, so I might just blend it out first just so it doesn't... Okay, it actually blends out a lot better than what I thought it was going to. Surprisingly, considering it's quite thick. Okay, so I think that colour combo isn't too bad. I do like the um I like the way it blends out blend out very good and the coverage is quite well I um have quite of a problem area around my chin so okay now to go in with the contour shade um, they're all quite this one seems to be the coolest of the three and because I'm quite fair I think the other two might be a bit too dark for me so I'm going to use that one. I don't do an awful lot of contouring apart from my cheekbones, they're already quite um, sunken in as it is so like it's kind of, it looks funny if I don't put powder there because it's already quite noticeable that I wish they were a bit higher, but you know, what can you do? So, I'm going to put that there. I think I might even um, put some down my nose. I'm not really much of a nose contour, but I might just give it a go because, you know, why not? And I might just put a bit on the outsides of my forehead. This one is the same um, consistency as the lighter colours. I might even go in with this middle one here. And I'm just going to put it a little bit above just to kind of bronze up the face a bit. Alright, so I'm just going to blend that one out. By the way, this is the Real Techniques uh, blender, uh, the um, Miracle Sponge, I think it's called. Okay, so this colour I feel needs a bit more work. I think 
that second orange shade might be a little bit of a regret. Um, I think I'll still be presentable to go out. <laughs> For a cream product, um, it's really good. Like, I mean, I've never had cream before. I did want to get an Anastasia contour kit, but, you know, when you haven't used cream and it's, like, to get it here in Australia is like 60 to something dollars. You don't really spend all that money um, and then it doesn't really work for you. Okay, so on camera, I mean, it's a little bit darker in person, but on camera, it, I think it's showing up pretty well. I'm just going to go back in with um, those highlight shades and just put a little bit more here and also um, um, I'm just going to sharpen up under here and a tiny bit back in my nose I think this might help I am um, I have a lot of problem trying to get product to stay on my nose especially on the tip it always wears out by the end of the day um, have tried baking it but sometimes um, for my day job I work in somewhere where it's quite warm so it tends to crack by the end of the day. And I actually, I really like this. I am so happy I picked this up. I was a bit worried that I would buy it and not use it, but hopefully it doesn't crease my under eye too much. I have that problem as well. Okay, so just to set everything, I am going to go with the models prefer contour, don't mind all the dirtiness. And then I'm just going to take this more ashier one just to set the other the contour parts. So that is um, all in all the review. Um, I actually really love this. I will definitely recommend it. I can't wait to use it again once I've done a bit more of a um, more intense look with this. But I would definitely recommend. Um, it's worth the price. Um, don't be discouraged when you feel it. I really didn't think it was going to blend out because it feels so thick. But once you use it... Um, like I would definitely use a beauty blender to blend it out. I don't think it would be very good with a brush. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely recommend this. Um, thank you very much for watching. And